Hi, Air Signs, and welcome to your tarot love reading. We are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you in relation to love and romance. So we will take a look at a you versus them tarot reading. So I guess this is um, probably more suitable to those of you who do have a romantic interest in mind, a crush, a connecting energy here. The reading here is intended for all Air Signs, so that's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. That is Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising. And of course, for those of you who may be dropping into cross uh, Crosswatch here, so these messages, they are going to be general, guys, so just please keep that in mind throughout the reading here. If you are interested in the personalized tarot reading, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here in the show more section, along with all the information that you will need. So the messages here are intended for air signs, Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra. Okay, so right off the bat, we will start with you here air signs you have the world card but it's in reverse here um, unfinished business here okay so the world in reverse the seven of cups the knight of swords and the nine of pentacles Okay, for some of you, I feel like there is a connecting energy here with whom you're not quite done yet. Not yet, anyways, okay? You still have unfinished business, okay? Now, for, for what this means for some of you is perhaps the unfinished business is that you need a closure here. Maybe the two of you have ended, have ended the connection or at least like a chapter of your connection. Some of you, I feel like maybe are seeking um, closure here. Others of you, you feel as though, you know, you're not yet done with this person. Not yet. A relationship may have stagnated. You may feel as though right now things aren't, they're not moving forward or things aren't progressing as you want them to be. Or you may even feel a, a sense of irritation or frustration because you feel as though you're not exactly where you, you, you know, you saw yourself a little bit further along with this person or within this connection here. Um, you, you, some of you, I'm also feeling a sense of why do I feel like the word emptiness or loneliness is coming to mind as well. Some of you are dealing, you are involved in a long term, you know, sorry, in a uh, long distance relationship, and maybe that's why you feel a sense of emptiness or loneliness because you do not have them. That's not to say you need someone to complete you, but you do not have them with you here, um, alongside you. So you know, you you feel this, uh, you feel this loneliness. Um, some of you, you have met this individual online or you are carrying out like an online, uh, you know, connection here. The world card, much like the Wheel of Fortune, it's a reminder of the dips and the rises, the joys and the happiness here. So sometimes you have to take the good with the bad. You feel as though, I feel like with the air signs, you feel as though... Something here, you feel uneasy, you feel unsettled here, right? Something is not coming together. You have all the pieces. You do. You have everything. Or this person is your everything. But somehow something is not manifesting. For a lot of you, I feel like there is the, the notion of a long-distance relationship. You know, geography is standing in your way. For some of you, it's like, you know, this person may be, deal, may be your um, ideal partner. Maybe a wish come true. Maybe, you know... Um, he or she is the person that you've manifested and the person that you, you know, brought, uh, you know, literally from out of your visions, from out of your dreams and into real life. It's like you have everything, you have all the pieces, but for some reason they are not coming together. You feel as though maybe something is missing or you don't feel like you're connecting with this person. Maybe you feel like, you know, you're, um, you feel like this person may be isolating or alienating you right now as well. It's... For some of you, I feel like maybe this person has pushed you away. This is why you feel the isolation or the um, you know, alienation. The Knight of Swords, maybe there was a disagreement or some sort of conflict or strain. You feel uneasy because it is your energy. It's almost like there's so much that you want to say, but when you do say it, maybe you don't find the right words or it just comes out wrong or you say things that you don't mean and then you, know, you get into a heated discussion or a heated argument. I can see that right now your energy is very restless here because... You are not where you want to be right now. You are not, you have all the pieces, but they're just not coming together. What is it? Something here is not connecting here. Um, 
for some of you, you feel as though you have to tie up loose ends. That's just what I see. Some of you, you know, you have a connection that has ended or it's nearing its end and it's or it's nearing its cycle here. Um, it's not yet done, not yet. There is something here that you feel like you have to do, whether it's bringing closure or whether it is telling something that you need to get off your chest. Um, maybe you feel, for some of you, I am getting that you're seeking closure from a past partner or you want to tie up loose ends so that you can be happy, so that you can focus on you or so that you can focus on the relationship moving forward. So let's take a look at your connecting energy over here, your romantic interest, your crush, and let's see what's going on with them, what messages. Um, are coming through here and then also just uh, to end the reading we'll take a look and see what advice is coming in here okay so you do have the five of swords for this person the seven of swords oh the seven of wands and the five of wands okay there's a lot of conflict with this individual a lot of conflict within this with this individual if you feel like you're restless you should see what's going on with them here um a lot of conflict i feel like they're having a hard time um thinking straight uh thinking clearly i feel like this person is really not only are they like physically restless from what i can see but they're also mentally restless there's a lot that's playing on their mind i'm not sure if i do feel like maybe this person is being a little bit manipulative or has been manipulative maybe this person has been uh dishonest or has given you reason to distrust them um with the five of swords i feel like there's a sense of sadness here. There's a sense of sadness or a loss here with the Five of Swords. So does this person feel as though they've lost you? Uh, they've walked away or they're slowly, you know, what their actions here are jeopardizing their um, connection with you. It's a sense of stress, um, arguments. This I'm seeing a lot of arguments. I'm seeing a lot of disputes. I'm seeing a lot of, um, you know, cutting losses sort of thing. Remorse. I'm getting remorse from them here. And I've mentioned, it's all, like with the Five of Swords, it's about, you know, picking, attempting to pick up the pieces so that you can move on from something here. Whereas with you, it's almost like you want to, you want to connect the pieces. You want to make sense of it here. Okay. There's a conflict here that resides within this person that they have to stand up with themselves. They need to make peace with some sort of conflict. There is some sort of argumentative energy that is coming through or some sort of dispute or some sort of stress here. This person is stressing. Okay. They're not, they're not in a very settled or a very peaceful state of mind. This person feels very overwhelmed, very stressed here. Um, I'm not sure if there's too much ambition that they're attaching to this connection here, or I'm not sure if they're the ones that are feeling out, you know, they're feeling like they've lost something here, like they've, they're the loser in all of this, for some reason. Okay, there could be a sense of maybe you and this person clash, I feel like there's a clash of egos as well here. Okay, um, yeah, with the Five of Swords, I feel like this person is having a hard time coming to facts. Um, they may have said something or may have done something that has pushed you away. Okay, um, maybe that was their ego. I'm not making excuses, maybe, maybe that was the ego talking. But right now, they're feeling as though they've lost you or they're slowly losing you. And to them, it's all about how to get you back. This person, I feel like, was trying to get away with something that they shouldn't have. Um, or something they might have said something that they didn't intend to but rather I feel like it was more an act um, maybe they didn't necessarily no I think no no I think they knew what they were doing maybe they were playing games or maybe they were just trying to push the boundaries see how far they can get away with it um, you guys aren't always on the same page or on the same you don't always see eye to eye there's a lack of especially right now with this person's energy I feel like they're not in a good place emotionally and if the two of you do talk or you do connect here i'm not sure that you uh, that it will progress things for you here because i feel like this person is you know the sort of um I'm, I'm getting that they're in this fighting kind of energy fighting mood um I mean, i'm getting that this person is very argumentative or just um 
quite moody, very irritable, very moody here. A lot of conflict within this person. It's almost like they know what they're doing is wrong, but then they go on to do it and then they feel bad about it. So it's almost like this conflict or tension is, is very is internal, but it also affects your relationship externally here. So yeah, this person is losing sleep over something they said or done to you, over the fact that this person is losing you or has lost you. This person has not come to terms with um, a few things here so let's see what advice is coming through for you here let's see what messages you may need to know or where to go from here oh the nine of swords and the wheel of fortune okay so again i feel like this is your connecting energy you're both not in a good place right now because you're both worried or stressed about something um for some of you you know with the wheel of fortune i did mention at the start of the reading that you know um there's this ebb and flow to life you know there's this rise and fall and the joy you know the joys and sorrows that come with that come through life so the advice here is that this this energy here is only temporary you will be able to move on from this and you will be able to work it out i am seeing a second chance you know what goes up eventually must come down and just as what is down eventually must go back up so things will improve they will get better there will be a shift there will be a transition there will be a transformation allow whatever allow this uncomfortable energy allow this you know i know you're you're thinking about it a lot air signs i mean how can you not you're always in your mind you're always you know steps ahead you are driving yourself crazy though this way um if it helps you it helps you but for a lot of you it's not helping it's only worsening the situation um and it, there's a sense of repetition right with the nine of swords there's a sense of repetition is what i'm getting here um so i'm sick for some of you the message that i'm getting is to cut your losses for others of you i feel like you need to put you need to uh cut ties with with the past here so is it a past hurt or a past resentment or something that they've done or said to you you need to make peace with the conflict or they need to make peace with the conflict and you need to be able to move on from this situation because you cannot move forward you cannot progress a connection forward you cannot even progress yourself emotionally if you are not able to detach from the past okay um some experiences they you know they help us learn they help us grow they challenge us some transform us so whatever is happening here is challenging you but more importantly allow it to transform you because that's what it's here to do transform you in a very big and a very powerful kind of way okay and that's all i have for you guys so i just want to thank you all for tuning in thank you for listening for watching your time and attention is greatly appreciated i will be sharing with you more general tarot love readings throughout the week so do stay tuned thank you guys again keep well bye for now